On February 18, 1952, a four-man Coast Guard crew braved the treacherous Chatham Bar in a small unnamed lifeboat to rescue 32 men off a tanker that had split in half off the Chatham coast. Almost 60 years later, their heroism and the historic boat that carried them to safety live on. The Coast Guard 36500 is now being restored by volunteers with the Orleans Historical Society and boat restoration professionals. Uh, I'm Peter Kennedy, and I'm uh, uh, on the board of directors of the Orleans Historical Society, and my job is to be responsible for the restoration and preservation of the Motor Lifeboat 36500. We found that the sheathing of fiberglass that was put on with the purpose of preserving it in the 80s allowed rot to occur under the fiberglass. So this winter, our project here at Marine Restoration was to take off the fiberglass, take all these cedar uh, sheathing off the lazarette, the engine room, and the survivors department, rebuild the decks, rebuild the deck beams, uh, and resheave the top with uh, cedar and uh, a product called Dynel, which is a canvas-like material. So that's going on this way. Well, I think you could say that everybody involved in this project, myself and all the other volunteers who work on it, are very privileged to have the responsibility of being the caretakers of the only 36-foot motor lifeboat that's listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This boat is famous for several reasons. First of all, it's one of the rema only remaining 36-foot motor lifeboats that's been restored to original condition and still gets underway. We fly the waters of the wing mode each summer. It's like a floating museum, I guess, is one way to describe it. The second reason it's a famous boat is that it was the, the boat that is considered by the Coast Guard to have been uh, conducting the most, uh, one of the most, if not the most, significant small boat rescue in Coast Guard history. In 1952, February 18th to be exact, in 1952, uh, it rescued uh, 32 seamen from the stricken tanker Pendleton off of Chatham. Andrew Fitzgerald was 20 years old when he volunteered to join Coxway and Bernie Weber's crew as an engineer. The four men battled rough seas and a winter storm to save the men aboard the stricken tanker Pendleton. All but one crew member on the stern of the Pendleton would live through the ordeal. Fitzgerald is the last Coast Guardsman who was on board the 36500 during the rescue. Seaman Richard Livesey and Irving Mask died within the past six years. Weber died in January. The rescue has been called one of the greatest in Coast Guard history. Well, I didn't think it would be a really big deal, truthfully, <laughs> until many years later when everybody thought it was. But I was thinking it's going to be it's going to be cold and we'll be wet, but we've been cold and wet before. So that's kind of what was going through my mind. But sometimes it'd be like one and two, then right, right behind each other getting off that rope ladder. We would kind of tell them where to go. All three of us would direct them. And, and stand alongside and kind of help them if we could. We first filled up that little storage area in the front. I don't really know how many we put in there, but we put many, much more than could normally get there. Then they would have to kind of go along that very, very narrow deck to get in the back, because there was no place between that compartment and, and in the back to stand or anything else. Some of it would stand in that, in that compartment too, eventually, where I was. Some would go in the back with Bernie. Some may have gone in the engine room because it would have been warmer. I can't really tell you that. I, I, I'm not sure of that, but I think they did. It was something, you know, we were paid. We were supposed to be doing what we did. That's one thing I thought, you know, we, we had a job, and after it was all over, it was a tough job. We did it, and I, I really think from then on in, if you had a job to do, you'd say, hey, I can do this job.